country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today is a very I don't know whether it'll be real extremely quick but I'm hoping it won't take me too too long a uh, little arrangement in a actually it's a tricycle basket that I have here and I got this out of the spring department last year at Hobby Lobby. I do not know whether they will have anything like it again this year, but this is a little tricycle planter basket, you know? And I have been decorating this, except for Christmas. I didn't do it for Christmas, but I decorated it throughout the year, last year. And now I'm gonna decorate it up into the cottage style, is how, how I've been doing it. Now this, bow was on here and I put it away and it got smushed like this so I'm going to be fluffing out the bow and I took everything out of it when I took it downstairs just to store it so I'm going to be redesigning it again uh today so that's one that's the major thing I'm going to be doing in this but I also wanted to show you this tabletop uh, I didn't do too much to it but I did want to show it to you this little bird is remember I had another one over in my uh, tv credenza vignette centerpiece uh here's the second one and she actually has an old led light bulb in her so she glows blue and uh, she's super pretty at night and then i just put a melamine plate a smaller one up on a plate stand and then this is a little milk glass candle holder and again another one of my little grungy blueberry candles again i'll give you a link to that etsy shop i don't know whether she still has any of these but I'll give you the link just in case. And then those are my uncles back there. Uh, my dad and his three brothers who all play instruments. And uh, the top one, bless his heart, is in heaven right now. Playing in that heavenly band. <laughs> and that trumpet, he played that trumpet. So those are my three, four, my dad and and three brothers who used to who used to travel from church to church when they were young boys and sing and play their instruments and uh, you know a, a story for you uh, my granddaddy you know uh, wanted them all to be able to play an instrument so one day he brought in a saxophone a trumpet a trombone and a clarinet for all of them to try out you know and my dad tells the story that, you know, uh, uncle, my one uncle took the trumpet, my other uncle took the trombone, and dad picked up the clarinet. And then their younger brother also plays the clarinet. But dad, when dad picked up the clarinet, you know, he said, he said, he says, he said, okay, everybody has their instruments. And dad said, no, 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 no. I wanted that. I wanted the, the trumpet. He thought the clarinet was the trumpet called the trumpet. So dad wanted to play the trumpet and dad can play the trumpet, but dad plays a beautiful clarinet. Dad also has, when he sings, he has like perfect pitch. He doesn't need to be given a, like a, a play a C. He can sing a C. They say, dad, sing, sing the, you know, the, you know, sing a C, sing a D, sing an E, say whatever. And they harmonize like angels. I'm telling you, it's just... To hear those four sing, it was like heaven on earth to me. Anyway, all right. So let's get on with this little bicycle here. I took apart another, um, well, let me get back to that. I'll get back to that in a second. First thing I want to do is put you down here so you can see what in the world I'm doing. So you don't have to look at the top of my head. That's not very nice. Okay, here we go. But the first thing I want to do, this is one big stalk of a of greenery here and I don't remember where I got this you guys it's Hobby Lobby probably but the first thing I want to do and this is just a green garland just a greenery garland so first thing I want to do is I want to snug this down in here and I want to tie this on to this to the back of this bike so that it doesn't uh it used to fall all over the place on me and I want it to not do that anymore. So where's my snippers? Here's my snippers. 
And here's my tie wrap. Let me get a white one. And I very simply just want to tie wrap this on to this bike so that it won't go anywhere. I'm not going to be able to see this because the back will be to the chair over there. There we go. Okay. Now, we turn it around here. And as I said, this is just a garland, just a greenery garland, and I want it to kind of, some of it to kind of fall out of there. Now, I have two little Boyd's bunnies. Look at them. Aren't they cute? And they used to have like pink dresses on them, but I'm going to make or tie some ribbon around their little necks. I'm gonna give the gentleman a bow tie and I'm gonna give the little girl a headband. Let's see if I can figure this out again. I did this for Easter last year, so let's see what I can do here. I've got, this is all of this ribbon that I have left, this ribbon. So I'm going to do what I did on the back of my lantern over there. And I'm going to get a piece of it. I just want one for around her neck and his neck and her head. I'm gonna Get myself a length of it. I know I have scissors here somewhere. Let me cut two lengths of this ribbon. Hopefully, that will be plenty. Okay, now, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna simply fold it in half like this. Let's do Mr. Misters first and just do a bow right around his neck. Give him a big old fat bow tie. Okay, I could make it really big and kind of open it up. <laughs> Actually, I want it. Okay, now let me, I'm gonna cut his tails into dovetails. Okay. 
Here we go. <laughs> there he is. Now, let's do a little headband on this lady. That is one big bow on her head in it. <laughs> but it's really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail. Alrighty, there we go. <laughs> they look super cute. Okay, let me get these two up in this basket. So it's gonna be sitting right here like this. I will put him toward the back. And we'll put her with her big old fat head bow here. <laughs> right in front of him but down a little lower. There we go. <laughs> now. I'm very simply going to add just a few florals, nothing major. Push that down. It's a little bit wide for my taste. Tame the bow. <laughs> there we go. Much better. <laughs> I do have just a, and I do have one big, big flower for in the back to help him sit up. And I think that's it, y'all. I think that'll be it. Cute. I like that I tamed the bow on him and, and pulled up some of the blue. I think that looks pretty. So, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do that out of the way there. Yay! I think it's cute. And it's just going to sit right here like this. And they are going to enjoy their ride and their little bike. <laughs> oh, I need to do the bow, don't I? I need to fluff up that bow. Good. As gracious, it looks a sight. So let's fluff this up. I'm sure I've done a good bit of fast motion here in this video. Again, this ribbon, by the way, I got from perpetualribbons.com. Bobby gifted it to me, the owner of perpetualribbons.com. Bless her heart. She's a lovely, lovely lady, and she 
sent me this beautiful ribbon as a gift. And I completely and totally appreciate it and have utilized it very well, I think, between this smaller ribbon and then the bigger ribbon she sent me. You guys have seen it scattered throughout this decor in both rooms, both the front of the house and the back of the house, you know? This is a funky bow, obviously, with all of the tails on it here. Uh, looks to be maybe a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten loop, maybe. Ten loop funky bow, all made all out of the same ribbon. Again, Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. I'll give you a link in the description. I encourage you to go and check out her ribbon. She's lovely, great customer service. The shipping is uh, in a timely fashion. She does a great job. And she has some different ribbon that you that you may not be able to find in the stores. So do check her out. There we go. What a little fluffing to a bow will do, huh? Remember the secret of any bow. The most important part of any bow, of making any bow, is the fluffing. There we go. That's it. <laughs> All right, let me go into some final words here. There we go. I wanted to add that. I had that long plate. I had taken apart another arrangement that I had over here on the floor. I wanted to take it apart and do something different with the parts and pieces of it. And I wanted to add that there. So there that goes. That looks good. <laughs> I love it. All right. Now let's go into some final words. Okay, Duke, y'all. That'll be it for this one. I'm telling you, I just love playing with stuff like this. This is so much fun for me. You know, this is like, I'm like a little girl playing with her dolls, you know? Uh, this is the most fun, you know, and I think I told the story several videos ago about how I used to hurry up and clean my whole house and then I could decorate. And this is the type of thing I would do even way back in the, you know, I don't know, 80s when my kids were little and napping, you know, and uh, I would just, I would just have fun with, with my decor and I love it. I really do have a passion for decorating. It is absolutely my favorite thing to do other than spending time with my family. Other than spending time with my family, there's nothing else that I would rather do is to, to decorate, honestly. I am definitely working with this platform on something that I absolutely love. And I think I encouraged you in another video, go for it. If you know you love something, go for it. If you know you love, if there are those of you out there who might be thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I encourage you, I encourage you to go ahead and try it. You know, just try it. You never know who you can help. You never know who you can help. I don't do this for me, I do this for others. I do this for, well, I do it for myself too because I love the social interaction, you know, I get. That's what Chris always says. He loved, he said, you love the social interaction. So in that way, I do do it for myself <laughs> because I love, I'm an extrovert, I love people, you know. And uh, I love the positive people, let me put it that way, you know. And uh, so anyway, I encourage you. So let me just say here uh, that uh, thank you guys so much for all the comments ahead of time here. I'm not sure how well I've been doing getting back. I do try sometimes and I definitely try to answer questions, you know, and I do go back and look at comments from videos past and I try to catch questions if they've come up, you know, so thank you guys so much for them all. I take them all to my heart though. And once you see my heart show up, you'll know I've read your comment. I read them all. I really and truly read them all. So let me also say that for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, come back and I'll give you a closer up look at all this. But with all that said, while I'm looking at you, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.